Hey, this is Kathleen from OldWorldFarmhouse.com. I am on vacation in Folly Beach, South Carolina. I did get to go to some local antique and, well, more antique vintage shops, not so much thrift shops. So I want to share that with you now. Got my little girls in the background watching me. <laughs> we got to see a couple different vintage shops, didn't we, today? Yeah, and we had a great time looking around at all the pretty stuff, and I would love to share that with you now. This place had a lot of really cool outdoor furniture. I love those benches. A lot of wrought iron and inspirational pieces. I love that yellow table too. Then I went inside and the first thing I saw was this, I liked how that was painted quite a bit. And I loved that Oh my gosh, that was such a cool server with a cloche top. Wouldn't this be the most beautiful garden table if you were a gardener? Which I am not, but I loved it. And I loved that chandelier as well. And that was a fun, maybe a garden ornament. I could see that going in with some plants outside. I liked these little, I guess, coasters. And I loved that green platter underneath. And there was a one underneath that with tons of crazing. I didn't want to go and lift it all the way up, but I think it was ironstone. And look at that. It was a little crab, little brass crab. Very coastal. And some little angel bookends. I liked those too. This piece was scrubbed pine. It was really, really pretty. It said it was an old English piece. I don't know about that, but it was very pretty. I stayed a long time in that booth. I liked her things quite a bit. Oh, I like that fabric too. And I love that bright green cupboard. She had some really interesting things on the shelves in here. Some really pretty jewelry, like, and some little crowns that you could put on your head. A lot of religious iconography. Very pretty. I liked that cloche bell. I like the idea of putting something like that. I think that was a, a sugar bowl. Isn't that pretty? put that under a cloche. Or I really liked that sugar bowl a lot. There were some pumpkins everywhere, which felt strange because it was so warm there. There's the scrubbed pine cupboard again. So nice for English country style and some more really beautiful religious little statuettes. So lovely. I loved the green she had this painted, this, this cupboard the booth owner and I liked the distressing on that white one in the back too I thought it was really well done there were a lot of really nicely painted pieces in this shop I spent forever in her booth there were two of these little end tables I loved how they were painted and I thought they would be perfect for the coastal, beachy look for sure. But also anywhere. And she had some pretty pieces inside too. Look at the detail on those key or the, the locks. This was a neat like jewelry holder. I liked that. There were some pretty neat, pretty chandeliers in there. I like this one that. I think it would paint in white and there were some old bolts of fabric. This striped one was beautiful. And the tulips as well.
that looks like a wall pocket of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You could put flowers behind it. These, I think, were new. This, you know, like jadeite, but I love the color. A lot of fun. I would love to have a salt and pepper shaker made of that. I don't know where they came from. Those ones up there did look really vintage. It said salt, but I don't know. They might have all been reproductions. I like that bench, but we're going to want to look for a cushion in. And this was a picture of a ballet dancer. And someone had done some really interesting paintwork on these tables. Very detailed. That said it was a sugar bucket. Maybe they would have kept sugar in there, I guess. There were, in this booth, so much soap and a oh, painting of a fishing boat. I thought that was interesting. You don't see things like that in Kentucky too much since we don't have a fishing industry, I guess. There were tons of dough bowls here, just tons and tons. I don't know if they were real or reproduction, but they're very pretty. I really like the idea of using them as trays or something. Some of them were even painted this blue color. I don't know much about dough bowls. I guess maybe they were used to knead the bread or were they used for the bread's resting? Those pigs and cows were fun. They were new, but they had like all the cuts of the animals on them. That was neat. And that was a really cool lamp. I couldn't figure out how it went together, but I liked the look of it a lot. This might have been the most coastal booth. I loved this blue painted dresser. I thought it was just gorgeous. This booth, this Kintara, Susie Zeller, she had some really beautiful pieces. I really liked the way she painted her furniture. I really wish I could have taken that dresser home. I am such a sucker for those blue green colors. And I saw a lot of shield back chairs that I would have loved to take home and paint. I liked this round table with the drawer too, quite a bit. And this red ottoman caught my eye. It was kind of hard to see what shape it was under all the pillows. And then back here, this was a kind of a neat piece too. I couldn't figure out exactly. I think it was a TV stand and I think it had been made new, but I liked all the colors. Again, quite coastal, I think more shield back chairs. I would love to take those home all and paint them all. I loved that little end table. Again, the way it was painted, I thought was gorgeous. And I went and looked in the drawer and it had actually been made at a furniture maker in Louisville, Kentucky, which made me laugh. Very good quality piece. I kind of, there's the little Columbia Manufacturing and they were based out of Louisville. I'm assuming they're not still there. I'm not sure though. Maybe they are. They had left the top uh, non-painted, which was kind of interesting. I liked that piece back there too. It had kind of a Florentine look to it, Italianate. I saw quite a few pieces like that. And this was a really good looking brass chandelier too. Yeah, I liked that. I liked that piece. I loved that little mirror. It like a ship's uh, like on a ship or something. And I went back and took a look at this ottoman. I liked the pillows on it, but I wanted to see what it looked like underneath and it was an oval shape. I thought it was really pretty. I would love to have an upholstered ottoman. They could use it as a coffee table or as an extra place to sit. I think it would be so handy, but I'm trying to restrain myself until I have plans for all of my rooms and not just buy furniture willy nilly, but it was fun to look. Look at all the brass nail heads there. It was really high quality 
only $125. The upholstery was in fabulous shape. I love reds too. There it is again. <laughs> I spent a lot of time ogling it. There were lots of maps of the Charleston area, which I think is a fun thing to have a map of. This was a tureen. I loved the colors. I thought it was so pretty. I don't think it had a lid. I'm not sure if it was just for decoration or if you could actually use it. It was a really nice tea set. And a nice looking basket. I liked that bench with all those pillows on it. That would have been fun on a porch outside. There's another beautiful piece and another beautiful map. I think it's neat to have a map like that where it's a lot of sea and a lot of land and the contrasts are very interesting. That was an old baby bathtub, it said. I think that would be a neat for gardening somehow too in a garden shed. This mirror had been painted this fun blue and that would look great in like a beach house setting, I think. It was a, a picture of William of Orange and Mary, I guess. His, they look like they're about 12 in that portrait. I don't know how old William and Mary were when they did marry, um, but they look so young in that picture. And then there was this collection of magnifying glasses on top of this absolutely beautiful platter. Look at that. So pretty. I went to a different market called the Patina Market. It had a lot of really great vendor booths in it as well. And I enjoyed this one a lot. They had some beautiful old framed prints. And the people could not have been kinder and nicer it was a really nice experience. They told me that their space had been a form had been an art gallery, so the lighting was really nice and the walls were all painted white and it really made all of the booths, all everything kind of look really nice and classy and I loved these prints and I loved that lamp and that dish there with the gold and black. Interesting piece. A lot of old little portraits. They're probably real portraits of people. These plates had some funny things in French. There were a lot of half moon tables in this, um, what do you call it, antique mall. There were a ton of them. They were everywhere. They kept catching my eye. I liked that painting too. were two of these little French end tables, rather pricey. I would have painted them. I like that. I do not know what those are called. Is it an étagère? I don't know. I, I really like that, though. It was so pretty. We're displaying your things. And uh, I liked that table back there, hall table or something. I liked that blue painted chest as well and the little table. This table had a leather top, which was really fun. Liked that. And I guess well, that, I liked the fake palm tree. I'm <laughs> not much for fake plants, but I guess cause we don't have palm trees where I live. So and some kind of neat stuff to hang on your walls. This lamp was neat with that red shade. It was very... Uh, it was like Chinese or chinoiserie. I guess this whole booth had a lot of chinoiserie in it. Some really neat stuff. Very beautiful. I loved that chair like for a boy's room. And more maps of the area. I'm really liking these maps. That was a vintage one. They called Charleston the Holy City. So that was like something about the Holy City. I liked this framed map a lot. Charleston Harbor and surroundings and I wanted to take these chairs home too and paint them and make them look Gustavian they were great there were three or four of them 
And then there was this chair. <gasps> French chair and the fabric. It said it was a Colfax and Fowler fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? I loved that chair. <laughs> And the one behind it was pretty neat, too, in a different way. I liked the needlepoint, and I liked the pillow on, in, on it as well. These were some curtains. Very attractive, nice fabric. And I liked this set of chairs, too. Again, beautiful upholstery. And then this was a like a corner cabinet and that scrubbed pine. Love those scrubbed pine cabinets. Pretty baskets on top of that one too. I think styling those big armoires with big baskets on top is the way to go. I kept coming back to that chair and I liked these pillows too they would look great with the chair this one was nice too and it, it was it had a contrasting back pretty pleated lampshade beautiful work now that I know what goes into that I, they always call my attention they're very very time consuming and I've tried a few uh, with mixed results <laughs> this was an old French prayer chair a pre-do I think they're called and these said they were fern stands I thought they were really unusual and very pretty And then this might have been my favorite thing. It was a kidney-shaped vanity, and someone had made a detachable curtain to put around it. It was so pretty. It had this little matching mirror, and the curtain fabric was just to die for. It was a beautiful, thick fabric. I loved that thing. Couldn't fit that in the van and take it home, though, unfortunately. I also like this was one of those valets. This is a really pretty one made all of wood. I've never seen one quite like that before. And it was a really good price. And a luggage rack, an old vintage one, really nice as well. I like those two chairs. Very formal and masculine, but the upholstery just gorgeous. They had um, some silver trays. This lamp had a painting of Rainbow Row in Charleston on it, which I thought was pretty cool. I wonder if it must have been hand painted. It's a school bell. And an old school bell. Uh, I kind of wanted to get that for a dinner bell for us, but I did not. But it made a really nice sound. This booth was neat whoever had it they had lots and lots of really unique lamps I liked them all <laughs> that one had a map someone had like glued around the shade and then this was a leather ottoman I really quite liked it I'm, I'm thinking more and more about upholstered ottomans these days Another one of those like Florentine style painted pieces there. Just very pretty. Like I said, I saw several of these in my antique wanderings. I like that too, like for a plant. And some of this pretty, those were so pretty. When I picked them up, they were just plastic. It's, it was so surprising. They looked just like stone. And then these were like ash buckets for fireplaces. Quite pretty. Nice and big. I 
when this was for holding matches. Isn't that neat? I guess you hang it up on the wall. And then, but I couldn't figure out how the matches were dispensed. And that was a nice decorative bowl. It looked Portuguese or something. And this was a beautiful decorative plate. And, oh, I loved that. Isn't that pretty? Like a soup terrine, I guess. And a pretty plate. Uh, some. This said it was an old dental lamp. I wonder if it worked. I couldn't really tell. And then some old trunks, army trunks in the back there. Those are always so useful and so fun. And then a striped rug that really caught my eye. Swedish, coastal, coastal, Swedish could work for either or both. And the last thing I saw was this really pretty little painted chest. I thought it was so sweet and so charming. I love the shape and I love the colors. Those stores were really fun. I cannot wait to visit the Patina Market again next year. Also, the owners were super sweet. Kathleen reporting from Folly Beach, South Carolina.